Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dr. C channel for another video on this, the Yubi XV130, a micro, micro sized uh, FEV quadcopter brushless, a, a very fun flyer I think, I really like flying it, but as you uh, saw in the start of this video, I also have had quite a few crashes with this quadcopter and they were mainly caused by prop strikes. I'm not sure if it's visible, but uh, here you can see a little scuff mark and uh, here a little more. Um, I fly this quadcopter on 4S on a 750 milliampere 90C LiPo, I think, a graphene from uh, Turngy. And uh, yeah, the, the arms, the back arms, they are very thin and they bend on up a little, making the prop strike the canopy, which leads, uh, at least in uh, acro mode uh, flying, sometimes to uh, loss of control. And uh, yeah, that's not very nice, of course. And in this video, I will quickly uh, show you a, uh, a very cheap but effective way of uh, remedying that. And um, I've seen several people gluing things on the bottom of the arms, carbon fiber or um, even wood. Um, that might help, but on a quadcopter of this size, you don't really want to add grams uh, weight. Uh, the smaller a quadcopter is, uh, the more every gram counts in uh, its performance and uh, agility. So uh, I didn't want to add a lot of weight, so what did I do? I'm not sure if it's uh, super visible, but I added a uh, slab of aluminium tape to the bottom of the arms. Uh, and then uh, cut out the shape of the arms in the in the tape. D so this this width over here is the uh, the width of the tape I used. Um, simple isolation uh, aluminium foil that is. Now why did I use that kind of tape? Well, there is no stretch in that kind of tape. You've got all kinds of tapes, of course. Uh, gorilla tape, duct tape, um, wing covering tape, and all those kinds of tapes have stretch in them. And if you want to get rid of flex in the arms, in these arms, um, yeah, those kinds of tapes would not do anything really. This tape, however, doesn't stretch, and if those arms want to bend on up, um, the the bottom layer of the carbon fiber would have to be stretched a little, right? I hope that uh, makes sense. And this tape uh, prevents that from happening, because it has no stretch in it. You might wonder, well, does this really work? Well, yes, I can definitely tell you that this... Well, uh, I've had no prop strikes after I uh, added this tape. Um, you can uh, surely imagine that uh, this is very light, it's also very cheap and uh, easy to uh, apply. Uh, you can also see that uh, I've covered all the screw holes uh, with the tape. Well, if I have to replace a motor or uh, get uh, this screw out, of course I can cut the screw out of the foil. That's no biggie. Uh, as long as the quadcopter is, is okay like this, I can leave the tape as it is. So. Yeah, very short video. This is my uh, remedy or solution uh, for the arm flex in this quadcopter. Now, uh, as you can also see, I didn't do that for the front motors. Those arms are a little shorter. And um, yeah, I guess that's the reason why I never had prop strikes at the, at the front of the canopy. Maybe there's a little more, yeah, there's a little more room between the prop and the canopy over there as well. So, um, you only need to remedy the arm flex at the rear. So, get yourself some uh, aluminium tape foil stuff and, uh, well, 
two minutes of work and uh, then you're set. So, in my uh, show and tell slash review of this quadcopter I uh, promised to uh, do a short little video on how to uh, remedy this flex. And here it is. Hope it's uh, useful uh, to uh, owners or maybe you are interested in this quadcopter. Simply apply a layer of aluminium tape and then you're set. Alright, hope you got something out of this video and hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.